Hi guys, this is Pinky375 here with episode 5 of my Pokemon Let's Play. I just got out of the top of the cave and I um, battled with Tata with my Pikachu. I'm going to go ahead and take that out really fast and get to level 17. I don't learn anything cool from it, but I can't wait till level 20 when I do get to learn Slam. So all of this rocky sand area place is what normal grass is in the regular areas of the game. I do get a paralyzed off of his quick attack and I take down that Rattata. Uh, Pikachu is obviously going to win every fight because he's really high level. So anyways, I just keep walking along. Uh, go right and down across that path. Um, there's, I think this is like the only spot where there's a discrepancy from where you might want to go. So just go the same way I go and you'll be good to go. <laughs> Alright, so easily take down the fairy and beat last iris. Uh, Alright, so that's all I get. Go down there and figure out that the way you're supposed to go is up and to the right, just like usual. That guy says that Zubat don't don't live up here, which I thought was kind of weird. I don't know why Zubat wouldn't live up at the top of a cave, uh, but apparently that's true, so whatever. Anyway, let's take down this bug trainer with my Big Jew of Doom. Mr. MB7166. Um, so take him out. Yep, good to go. And I walk into the cave. The first Pokemon I encounter is a Zubat. So obviously that guy lied to me. Kind of made me a little bit angry, but it took, took him out easy, so it's all, it doesn't really matter. And let's encounter that trainer. That's the next step. I wasn't sure if you were supposed to fight him or not. Like, I didn't know if I wanted to fight him or not, I mean. But I did anyways. And I don't know why in this game you can hit ground Pokemon with electric and it's only not very effective, but I like it. I do. Magnitude 7 to me does a whole bunch of damage, which is not cool. But I don't really care, because I'm still going to just take him down. With 8, but what does it matter? Uh, level 18, always nice. So just keep going along on my path. And you will encounter. Er, huh. Yeah, take out the taking out this diglet first. Before I don't get ahead of myself. All right, so take that guy out. Now keep following along the single path, and we will eventually work our way over to the end of Mount Moon. We are nearly there. Take down this Lapras with my boss Pikachu. Uh. Not Lapras, what am I saying? Paris. Pikachu could have easily beat Lapras. She, I died to that Paris, I think. Yeah, so that's weird. Um, didn't really expect to die. However, I'm just going to go into my inventory and look at it. I couldn't remember what I was planning on doing. So I just decided I'd, I think I was going to heal up my Pikachu. So that I could... Uh, defeat any boss that might be at the end of this cave. However, there is not a boss at the end of this cave, in case you were curious. So don't need to worry about your Pokemon all being full health. So that's always nice. Now we get along and defeat the Sand Shrew and speed every Pokemon here. As I said in all my other videos, uh, this is quite a bit behind. I can't actually tell where I am at most of the times in this, so just bear with me. Like, literally, it's just going from battle to battle. I can't even see myself walking along. <laughs> At least you can. And we'll be able to when it's on YouTube. So, just taking out all these Pokemon with Pidgeotto. Getting a bunch of levels on him. He's just not going to lose. This Oh, that's where I heal up my Pikachu. I heal up my Pikachu now, because I was thinking there's going to be a boss battle. Because uh, I, I see that I'm at the end of Mount Moon. You know, as I go up to that machine thingy... And I'm just going to head up towards this top left end to Mount Moon. So that will be cool. Um, defeat the Sand Shrew. And here we are. Uh, walk over here. See a bunch of Clefairies. They all gather up. And Team Rocket's going to try to steal a Moonstone from me. The Clefairies all beat up on him. And Metronomen take down Team Rocket for me. Which is pretty nice. So I'm going to leave this cave now. And I encounter another Zubat. 
really angry that there's still Zubat up here when that guy told me there wouldn't be. But, you know, life. So, I go ahead and uh, just take out every single Pokemon I ran into throughout the course of my adventures. Because Pidgeot is a boss and level 17 and versus level 8 Pidgeys just doesn't, doesn't matter. So, my goal is to train my guys as much as possible. So I'm just exploring to try to see if I can find anything useful. And I see a sign saying my rival was here and then I'm a loser. So that's great. I know he thinks I'm a loser. He tells me I'm a loser all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and enter this Pokemon Center and heal up. And this is Cerulean City, uh, home of the Water Gym. So it's going to be awesome. They're going to take on Misty. That'll be really exciting. Um, obviously Jenny yells at me and says I'm suspicious because they stole a vacuum and a hose. I wonder who would steal something in the world of Pokemon. We'll find out. So anyways, I'm going to go in here and see if I can get the badge from from these um, fabulous, what are, they, what are they called? Um, sensational Sisters. But Misty comes in and says, no, you can't have the badge for free. You must battle me because you stole my bike, therefore I logic. And the game, yep, there's random pausing again. Or saving, that's it. A saving before, um, before I fought Misty, just because, whatever. So, gonna go over there. She makes you take Pikachu out of your party, which is gonna suck because I... He's one of my strongest guys by far. And yeah. So there's a star youth, same level as my Pidgeotto. So I'm just gonna try to take it out with some gusts, see how much damage I can do to it. And it just kicks the crap out of me with counter, so that didn't work at all. So then I send in my Butterfree, he's only level 12, five levels lower than it. He uses water gun on me, I drop a sleep powder on it, and my Butterfree will be able to take out this Star You, because he's amazing. He's been amazing since he was a Metapod. But Starmie just wrecks, wrecks his face. Just absolutely just slaughters it. Starmie's level 19. Just, just no. Just, just, just water gun and no. So, I lost this battle, obviously, pretty badly. Uh, I did not get the sleep powder out. I mean, he did not stay asleep. So that's, it's, that's not good. He didn't. He didn't sleep. So I'm down to just my level eight and my level seven stupid little dudes who will get one shot. And that is the end of this misty gym. Uh, they wide out. Go to the nearest Pokemon Center. Heal up. So I decide I should probably go ahead and go train now. I mean that makes a little bit of sense. So that's what I go off and do. I just go train, make sure to train my only my Pidgeotto and my Butterfree. Um, I don't really need those other two guys, as I said before. Um, they're, I'm not, I don't plan on training them. I just wanted to catch them because they were special. So just run over to the left there and train in that little grass area. Uh, I, I do speed that up, speed that battling up pretty fast for you. Uh, there's an Ekans. Yep, and my plan is just to get. Oh yeah, the original plan was to go through two lives of using all, either using all my moves or dying with those Pokemon, uh, and having to go heal. I'm gonna do that. My plan was to do that twice, and then take on Misty Gym at like hyper speed. Um, obviously, that's why it's like running really fast, and you've never seen anyone run that fast. He does run that fast on my screen, which is so cool. But um. Yeah, I just trained that Pidgeotto like none other. All these Pokemon are only level 10 though, and like 10 or below. So I'm really kind of angry that all the trainers and gym leaders are such high level, but all the small Pokemon are really low level. So I have to, um, I have to spend a long time training. It's level 19 anyways, that's good. Um, yeah. Taking down everything in sight. Another Spiro. I am at two health. He looks. This is two for a little bit, and gets taken out by that 
one health Spiro. So that kind of sucks, but you know, it's life. Uh, gets to my Butterfree now, anyways. So I'm just gonna take all these guys out with Butterfree. And I didn't think this through very well because Butterfree gets annihilated by Spiros. Um, yeah. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do if Butterfree dies because I don't think my B drill and Zubat can do all that much. But I can always just run away from the battle and I'm sure I can escape. The worst that could possibly happen is I lose a little bit of money, so whatever. Um, anyways, I go to heal because I run my B not B drill, um, my Butterfree dies, or faints, I guess. So I go heal, and I'm gonna go train a little bit more before I go take on that gym, because I don't want to lose again, because that would just waste a whole bunch of time. So I'm going to go ahead and send back out my Pidgeotto. He's gonna get way ahead of my Pikachu in levels. So my plan was to keep them about the same level, but it does not look like that's gonna happen with this whole um not being able to use Pikachu in the Cerulean City Gym thing. So, um, yeah, that's that's, that's about what, I, what I'm saying. Anyways, um, my computer is about to die, so I am going to move over there. Or I'm going to go get it, so I won't be talking for a little while. Just, um, you can go ahead and fast forward through this training if you want to. Um, I'll probably put it in the top of the description, like what time to what time that I'm training, so in case you don't want to watch all this, you don't have to. I did speed it up really fast to help you, but, you know, so some people just are selfish and don't want to watch me train my Pidgeotto. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. I can't hear any, but I'm going to just assume from that that there was a bunch of noise with me moving, so I'm sorry about that. Um, hope it didn't really matter because it was just, just training. So it's not a really big deal if you didn't hear me saying interesting things while I was training. Um, uh, probably should have told you to mute your headphones just in case it was loud, I don't know. So anyways, I'm about done training my... Butterfree does die again, so I just I'm, I just I decided to stop training my Pidgeotto at level 22 because I thought that would be plenty of levels to be able to take these guys out. But I just finished off that last guy because my Butterfree didn't make it. So it is just about time to take on Misty and the Cerulean City Gym one more time, and we're going into the battle. Alright, so Misty is not nearly as difficult this time, although I do send out my Butterfree first because I want to be able to take out that Staryu, and that's what my Butterfree did last last game. He took out Staryu. So I'm hoping he can do it again, and it does not look like he's going to. His, his sleep powder doesn't last as long as it needs to, and he doesn't de deal enough damage to the Staryu, although he does stop him from using Counter to kill my Pidgeotto, so that is always nice, but... I cannot beat him with because he's actually smart in this game. Um, Misty and other Pokemon trainers in this game actually use abilities based off of what a regular person in real life would do. So that's kind of sucky, but you know, it makes sense. So I t take out the rest of that star use health with Pidgeotto, and I'm gonna get this Starmie down really low with Pidgeotto. And it would finish me off here, but I have Quick Attack. So I'm confident that I can take out this Starmie and defeat uh, Misty and the Cerulean City Gym. So that is amazing for me. Gotta make sure I go heal up here, because that is incredibly important. And then we're off on a mission to go get the Bulbasaur. Um, so I'm 
have a bit of trouble switching my Pokemon into the right spots that I want them to be because I just realized that I needed to train my Pikachu more so I was going to change my Pikachu into the front but then all my other guys got in my way so I eventually get it figured out and get Pikachu in the front of the party and my mission to go get Bulbasaur so you head into the little house on the left and go up and around and everything and we find a coughing Not really sure where we found the coughing. It kind of skipped from the Pokemon Center to coughing. But there's a coughing, regardless. Um, I don't know why. It's just deciding to let me watch the battles, but not let me watch what's going on in between them. Oh. I guess I'm just messing around at the Cerulean City Gym now, because I wasn't sure exactly what I should be doing. Oh, duh, I know what happened. I had to probably take out Team Rocket trying to steal the... Yeah, that's what I did. I, I just took out Team Rocket trying to steal the water Pokemon. Um, I was having a lot of trouble finding the Cascade badge. I wasn't, I wasn't sure how to, what to do about that. But you just gotta go talk to those people again. I think you have to try to leave and then talk to them. I'm not sure about that whole mechanics on that. So I just talked to all these people just for the fun of it. Um, basically, what you do is you just walk up there. The guy says the dig is missing. So I know that there must be a dig around here somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and explore to look for that. Um, just walk through this hole in this house that was conveniently made. I don't know how, how people normally got to this place. But whatever. So uh, you can train your cuteness of your Pokemon here. But I don't really care about how cute a Pokemon is. So I'm just going to say no and be on my way. Not that I have the payment for her anyway. So you just head down right here and go on an adventure to the next area um... The, there's lots of hi higher level pokemon down here i'm pretty sure you could go here earlier um, I, 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 was, I was pretty sure you could go there um, well, before the gym now that i think about it so i probably could have trained right there but i didn't so you know things happen um, i did find dig that was cool Oh my gosh, this is so skippy, it's annoying. I need I need to find a new way to record this. But so, anyways, I finished that little training section. And next video, I will be showing you how to get Bulbasaur. And then going off on another adventure to follow more of the Pokemon storyline. So, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And peace out. I appreciate you watching.